Ugh. Ugh. Deja vu. Are we having fun yet? Okay, guys, Thad is mad. So, Thaddeus Young has a quote out here that's kind of circling around the internet about how he's not happy about the current Spurs situation. Now, before we get into that, I do want to talk about this. I want to talk about Damari Carroll because this is really giving me some Damari Carroll vibes. And if you guys recall, Damari Carroll also was not very happy when he was with San Antonio. He wanted Pop to give him more playing time, but I was actually happy Pop didn't because after Damari Carroll left, he looked like Trash. But okay, let's go ahead and look through his quote and see what Damari Carroll said. And then we'll get into the whole Thad Young situation and my thoughts on that. So here we go. Another opportunity will come for me. San Antonio, I don't know where it went wrong, what happened, what the hiccup was. But at the end of the day, I am totally healthy. I work out every day, twice a day. When the opportunity comes, I will, I will be ready to take advantage of it. Coach Pop is a great individual to me outside of basketball. We talk about family, all kinds of stuff. But with the basketball thing, we just didn't gel. So obviously, I let's just be honest. This, this is about him playing. He, he just wasn't getting playing time. Um, and it was a lot of drama there uh, back then. I recall maybe like his nephew going out and saying some harsh things about the Spurs. It was a lot, it was a lot of ridiculousness, okay? But let's get into Thad Young because that's the man who matters right now. So right now, the situation is not ideal for me. So another veteran is not happy with playing time. Now, before we start getting on to pop because for some reason recently we're so quick to get on pop keep in mind that popovich has had a a a itch to play veterans too much sometimes so this is actually exactly what we kind of been asking for now that young might be a little different because that young has played very well i would say um, but overall, uh, it does make sense for Pop to play more of the younger guys. And Thad Young actually adds on to that as well. So he's going to go through this quote. It's super tough. It's very tough um, and frustrating at times. But at the end of the day, I understand where the franchise is going. I understand what's happening. Uh, the young guys have to play. And I completely agree with that. The young guys do have to play. Uh, we spent so many years where trying to be in like this comfortable bubble rightfully so because we had the big three but now we're not in that situation anymore we have to have these guys figure out the situation for themselves and even someone like Devin Fassell who's stepping up and saying hey I'm gonna go ahead and lead this team meeting when we needed it that's what we need that young um unfortunately even if he plays well is not necessarily the direction that we need to go in because I wasn't even expecting that young to be here to be honest but uh, we'll talk about that a little bit uh, in a minute whatever happens happens it's just a matter of trusting in my faith and trusting in my craft and trusting in the time that I put into the game each and every day I'm a 15 year veteran and I'm still one of the last to leave the gym and I'm still showing up early putting in a lot of time and a lot of work there's a lot of me, 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 me here. I'll be honest with you. It's a lot of me, me, me. I'm not saying Thad Young is a selfish player by any means, okay? When he's out there, he's not trying to, like, put up crazy amount. Of, he, he just, he's just using good basketball IQ when, he yells, when he's out there. But this is a lot of me, me, me. I'm sorry. This speaks volumes of I don't think the Spurs are going to keep him. Um, and I don't even think he was supposed to be on the team anyway uh, for this long. But here we go. If I'm not playing in games, then I have to figure out some way to stay in shape. So I've been doing my after the game conditioning as well as showing up early for three on three sessions. I'm not supposed to be playing those three on three sessions because I'm a vet. Oh, my God. But in order to stay in shape, I have to do something. So I'm playing in three on three sessions with the younger guys and some of the coaches and just trying to keep my feel for the game and timing. I'm not sitting here trying to just get on him. I I don't know, man, but just keep reading. Young says, my ish is my ish, and he's not going to put this on teammates. He will. He still wants to be a mentor and leader on a young team that's given its heavy minutes to develop those players. I, I understand what he's saying, but this is a lot of me, me, me. Um, this kind of speaks volumes of what the Spurs go after because that young, I don't think he was supposed to necessarily be on the roster this long, if I'm being honest. He just wasn't. Um, and a lot of guys that we get, I don't know if I could think of one player on this squad that would put out a quote like this. And I understand that he is a 15 year veteran. I understand that he does play exceptionally well. There's something else that he said as well. Um, here we go. He said, right now, this situation is not ideal for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never been in a situ situation where I've had to settle for four to six minutes a game. 
Um, if I get a certain amount of minutes, then I am able to be consistent, as consistent as I've been in recent years. It's a lot of me, guys. So far this season, I have how, how would we just put the eyes in there? I haven't really played as much as I've played in the past, but with the time that I have been given, I've been productive. If I'm able to play a certain amount of minutes per game, then I feel like I can continue to be the consistent as I've been for years and for many more years to come. Yeah, dude, it that isn't staying with the Spurs. And even looking through the stats, um, obviously I was pretty happy about getting that. I thought that maybe we can utilize him as like a three threat. We haven't really uh, much at all, but that's okay. Um, we just have a very young team. And honestly, with him playing less, it's helped the team a little bit more not necessarily saying we're a worse team um when he's on the court no that's not true at all but we're currently on a four game winning streak um and we're looking like we're gelling a little bit more uh the young guys are getting more and more comfortable you want Jakob to be able to get those minutes um and eventually we're gonna have to implement jock Lindell or or um zach collins and to be real that young minutes was gonna go down regardless uh, I'm not going to blame Pop for this. I completely understand not playing Thad Young as much. Even this past game, one thing that I noticed was when Thad Young did go out there, and it's only a matter of since recently he hasn't gotten many minutes, but it did not gel as well as it did before. And I understand even Thad Young kind of alluded to it a little bit. You know, when you're not out there, or here it is, when you're not out there, you know, it's going to be a little inconsistent. I get it, but it, yeah, it, it just, it didn't look pretty, okay? Now, let's go ahead and look at the last thing I want to talk about. Let's talk about the Suns. So this can get kind of circle around. Honestly, I don't really like these that much. That's why I don't like talk about a bunch of trades because it's 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 all just speculation. Um, but if we read here, uh, ESPN's Bobby Marks thinks the veteran would add to one of Suns' best assets, uh, versatility. Which, to be fair, that young would add to any team um, just because of the type of player he is. He just he works on any team. But here we go. Uh, Young would not only give Phoenix another veteran presence, but one who can uh, play either four position and provides an insurance policy at the backup center position. He is averaging a career low 15.7 minutes this season for the retooling Spurs, but he has still managed to average 7.3 points and shoot 59.6% uh, from the field. Yeah. And honestly, man, I understand. I know that he's frustrated, but God, it's a lot of me. And to add on to that, um, I understand Popovich not playing them as, as much as before. I actually do like the fact that we're playing our young guys. Uh, and honestly, if, even if we were losing, let's say that we lost these last four games, like we lost four in a row, I think I would still be okay with, all right, we're not playing that and we're losing, but at the same time, it's it's a bigger picture that we're trying to paint here. There's a bigger um, uh, path forward when it comes to these young guys. So. Guys, let me know what you think. He ain't happy, but it's giving me some serious Demari Carroll vibes. The only difference is that Young is like 10 times better. <laughs> but yeah, you guys let me know what you think. I I'm not really tripping over it. Um, and I'm sure that fans aren't either on this four game winning streak. But you know, if people hate on Pop, they're gonna find a way to hate on Pop regardless, right? So I'll give it to you guys later, man. Until next time. Uh, oh, by the way, if you wanna support the channel, uh, Patreon YouTube members, $2 a month. Forgot to mention that. I'll give it to you guys later, man. Until next time, deuces.